In this video, we are going to talk about cars that utilize solar cells to generate a substantial portion, if not all the energy that they require to operate. With the improving efficiency of solar cells, it's becoming increasingly favorable to utilize the space on the roof, bonnet and trunk of the car and use it to capture solar energy. For electric five-seater sedans in particular, the covering solar cells can generate up to three to five kilowatt hour of energy per day. This can translate to 13 to 20 kilometers or eight to 12 free miles of travel per day purely on solar electricity. This may not sound very attractive. However, if the energy consumed per unit distance is reduced and the energy generation through solar cells is increased, then a point would come when the free solar miles would reach a level where no charging would be required, at least for commuting within the urban and suburban areas. And fortunately, there are automotive startups that are aiming to achieve exactly that. Before we discuss them, let's look at some of the cars that have the lowest energy consumption and see how much distance can be traveled by them purely on solar energy. A normal hatchback car like Volkswagen Polo would consume 38 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. This gives an energy consumption of 380 watt hour per kilometer. A more aerodynamic car like the GM EV1 consumes much less that is 23 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers or 230 watt hour per kilometer. A lower profile Tesla Model S requires just 172 watt hour per kilometer, while Tesla Model 3, which is lighter and more aerodynamic, performs better with just 150 watt hour per kilometer. Given that the area available for solar cell coverage on these cars is around three square meters, a peak capacity of 600 watts can be installed on the roof bonnet and trunk. This means that on a nice sunny day, the energy captured can be as high as three kilowatt hours. Three kilowatt hours is a reasonable amount of energy that can give up to 20 kilometers or 12 miles of travel on a Tesla Model 3, which is not bad. This, however, does not free you from plugging the car to the charger. One has to bear in mind that all the mentioned cars weren't built to be run on solar energy alone. They were meant to be efficient five-seater sedans that are practical and highway capable. On the other end of the spectrum, we have solar cars, some of which have competed in the World Solar Challenge in Australia. They consume a mere two kilowatt hour for traveling 100 kilometers, thereby having an energy consumption of just 20 watt hour per kilometer. This is almost an order of magnitude lower than the electric cars that we have examined earlier. However, these solar cars aren't practical or comfortable. So what if we can produce something that falls in between, that is occupy the middle of the spectrum, a car that is practical and can also go the distance purely on the energy generated by onboard solar cells. Turns out there are at least three companies that are working on such cars. There is the Scion by Sono Motors, there is the Lightyear One, and Aptera. Scion has a battery pack of 54 kilowatt hour and its range is 305 kilometers. This means an energy consumption of 177 watt hour per kilometer. While this is better than most electric cars at present, but it isn't close to a solar car. In terms of its shape, it isn't particularly aerodynamic. If we examine the Lightyear One on the other hand, it is very sleek in design and lightweight. Its coefficient of drag is just 0.2. This reflects in its low energy consumption value of 83 watt hour per kilometer. This car has a capacity of five adults, the peak capacity of solar cells installed on the five square meters of light gear one's body is 1075 watts or over one kilowatt. This means it can generate five kilowatt hours of energy per day through solar power alone. And then there is Aptera. It is a three-wheeler streamlined car that looks extremely futuristic. In fact, it is so streamlined that its coefficient of drag is just 0.15. This significantly lowers its energy consumption to just 62 watt hour per kilometer. 
This car, however, is a two-seater. The Aptera has 700 watt peak capacity solar cells on its body that help it to generate 4 kilowatt hour of energy on a sunny day. This is enough energy to travel 64 kilometers or 40 miles. This amount of solar charge would allow many daily commuters to run entirely on the power of the sun for most part of the year, particularly in sunnier regions. So both these cars, namely Lightyear One and Aptera, through their low energy consumption, maximize the utility of solar charging. Not only do they have very aerodynamic designs, but also utilize motors directly attached to the wheels to minimize the transmission losses. While Lightyear One may consume more energy per unit distance, but it also has a capacity of five people. The delivery of Lightyear One is expected by summer 2022, while Aptera will be rolled out by the end of 2021. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.